How's it going everyone? My name is Flip Ribbon and welcome back to the Pokemon Fire Red Team Rocket Edition Nuzlocke. Last episode we went on the SSN and robbed it, killed a Cutmaster, caught a brief conversation between Lance and Steven about the history of Kanto, and now we're here. Proton said we should go talk to Giovanni, so let's go do that shit up in Celadon City. Oh, Giovanni. Uh, what? Oh, I'm getting a cell phone call from Bill. Finally. Hey, Roberta, I forgot his goddamn nah voice. I'm sorry. Hey, Roberta, it's me. Haven't heard you in a while. No major new rocket events to report? No Silph Co. scoop? Fine. I'm just calling to tell you I passed on one of the gifts you gave me from before. Just a little while ago, some young hotshot or kid stopped by my house and helped me with some experimental hiccups. The kid was borderline mute and probably lightly autistic, but he was more intense and focused than any kid trainer I've ever seen. It was funny. Hey, you know what's funny? Me taking my boot and shoving it down your throat, Bill, for being a traitor fuck. 11 years old and he had already got two gym badges. Red was 10, don't fuck with me. So I gave him my ticket to board the SSN. Just thought you might like to know. Talk to you later. Yeah, so thanks. Thanks for letting me know, Bill. You fucking cocksucker. Like, what an idiot. What a fucking absolute dingus. Like, oh, dude, there's this trainer kid. He was fucking badass, so I randomly gave him tickets to this fucking stupid asshole. Stupid asshole Bill. Surely I'm not the only one who finds it funny that the cops are rewarding rewarding me for being nice Only because I was bad before like I just feel like there's some moral contradiction here But I just can't put my finger on it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, that that's my moral fucking dilemma, too It's like hey fuck the cops. They're just trying to be little fucking goose stepping fucks. Don't allow them I say fuck a lot Giovanni my dear my fucking dad uh, If it isn't Roberta well, come on up. Hey, Dad. I'm just kidding, okay? I know. Oh, look, he has this, her, his assistant has the same hair as Silver because he's his dad. That's cool. I've heard you did well in your forays in Cerulean and Vermilion. Well done. You keep up this little performance, we'll have choice, little choice, but to promote you before long. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me this red kid has already beaten two gym leaders and is heading for his third. Well, we should keep half an eye on his whereabouts, but we can't really follow him around at all hours. Why? You have a million agents. Just assign one to follow him. Is that that hard? Besides, the fact that you managed to beat the other kid trainer from Mount Moon shows that we probably largely overestimated the threat these kids pose anyway. With any luck, their little bout with Team Rocket will turn out to have been nothing but a brief one-off accident. Yeah, but no, 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 no. Blue is nothing compared to red. Isn't that right, Ariana? <laughs> if you say so, Giovanni. Yeah, Jesus Christ, Ariana. What are you, just a slave? We have some more pressing matters to attend to right now. Listen up. Apparently, Mr. Fuji of Lavender Town has gotten so resentful of our exploits in the Pokemon Tower that he's decided to take matters into his own hands. Fuji's no master trainer, but he has experience enough. He's managed to knock out all the grunts we have stationed in Lavender. He has made his way up to the top of the Pokemon Towers and vows to stay there until the souls of the murdered Pokemon have departed or something of the like. Oh yeah, I forgot we murder things. I totally forgot we just kill Pokemon. The bottom line is, the old man has cut off our supply of Cubone skulls at a time when demand is at an all-time high. We need to have him thoroughly detained and incapacitated so he'll learn to stay out of our way for good. This is where you come in, Roberta. Oh, where do I come in? Now, I would normally send one of my admins on such a job, but most of them are off on other missions and the others, well, I suspect they're a little too scared of ghosts to take the initiative. Wow, really? A bunch of pussies you got here, Giovanni. This is a prime opportunity for you to prove your worth, Roberta. I hope I won't be disappointed. Oh, you won't be. I will fucking prove it to you. Lavender Town is east of here, through Saffron and the Underground Path. Get over there as soon as possible. You got it. You'll also want to carry one of these, lest you're really keen on being scared to death by Pokemon Go. So are you going to give me a self scope? Nice, dude. Nice. That means I can catch a fucking ghost type in there. But I'm going to steal it. That's right. Stealing only, no catching. It makes it a lot harder, I'm gonna be honest. Well, get going, Roberta. No you standing around. Go teach that Fuji thing or two about messing with Team Rocket. You fucking got it. I'm gonna break his stupid old legs like they're made of goddamn Galarian Twix, bitch. Twix. I meant twigs, but you know what? I got caught up in the moment, so it's Twix now. That Pokeball fucking taunts me every single day of my life. Whatever. Alright, so we said we could head through Saffron, or we could head through the Underground Path. Let's see the map, because if I go through a new route, 
on the saffron direction, I would much rather go there. Where the fuck is my map? Do I not have a map? Oh yeah, I have fly. Whoop. Okay, yeah, so Route 8 is that one to Lavender Town. Like, I could take the underground path, probably. I don't know how, though. I don't know why he's suggesting that. The underground path doesn't go to fucking Lavender Town. That doesn't make no sense. I guess maybe it's not on the map. Okay, whatever. What? Saffron City has just Pokemon Center music? That's terrible. Why am I running around? God damn it, I have a fucking bike that I stole. Jesus, I fought to steal this bike, and now I don't even use it. It's like, it's like the moral of the bike story. Well, it's not Oaksaid. I guess I'm gonna steal this guy. You look good at Pokemon, but how's your chemistry grade? When does my fucking crime grade go up? Because I just realized I probably can't steal anything from this guy. But like, Nerd Aiden, what the fuck? What the fuck, Nerd Aiden? Let me steal your Pokemon. I just, I don't know when I'm gonna level up to be able to steal, like, adult Pokemon. What the fuck is Imprison? I don't understand. Prevents foes from using any move that is also known by the user. Well, that's good for like a ditto, but what the hell would I need that for anything else? No. Wait, wait, no, 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 yes, thank you. Yeah, the music's off. It's missing like notes, a whole like layer of the track. That's strange. I hate this. Oh, uh, meltdown. Yeah, yeah. It, what are you, a nuclear reactor? I'm better at school than this. Okay, yeah, I guess I can't steal his Pokemon. Well, it's, it's a blessing in disguise. I don't really want to steal his Pokemon, so it's okay. All right, is this the underground path? that he was talking about? Celadon City to Lavender Town. Yeah, it sure is. Um, so we got two bikers. Some little girls. Okay, no, no, no. Can't steal from the little girls though, which is kind of odd, but... Son of a motherfucking bitch, that's really dumb. Oh yes, fucking Spore. Hell yeah, I want Spore. Um, fuck a man named Son- No, not Poison Powder, god damn it. I can steal her little shit. Okay, so she probably has like a fairy type of some kind. Old man, old man balls up here. Probably has garbage. I'm gonna go heal and think about this. All right, I've decided on little tiny, tiny girl Sarah. Okay, god damn it. Don't fucking activate them. Hello? Hi there. I'm waiting for my sister to get here. I'm bored. Oh yeah, it's normally a double battle. Well, not today. Please have one Pokemon. Okay, I thought she only had one. That would have made my day. Like, I can't wait for my sister to get here and then she gets here like, someone stole my Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I live for, baby girl. Ah, uh, she has Clefairy! Yes, yes, become mine. Become mine now! <laughs> no, I want to be bored again. Yeah, I bet you do, but unfortunately, I'm stealing your Clefairy. <laughs> Her name's Wigglewag. Um, Wigglewag was sent in the box one. Okay, do I want Wigglewag, though? That's the question, because she's a fairy now. And what fairy means is that I have a thing that's super effective against dragons. Which is what I really like about fairy. Um, I don't know who I'd get rid of. I mean, I could get rid of Timon, right? I'm basically holding on to him out of fucking obligation. But, I don't want to really do that. Hey, you know what? Let's let's just chill for a bit. I, th I think we're okay without using Wigglewag for a bit. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Steal a Pokemon? Yeah, yeah, I want to steal a Pokemon. Um... Well, since I've never got the chance, I'll steal your Voltorb. This is 006? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Welcome to the box, 006. Have fun with all the other fucking property. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Damn this line of idiots. I fucking despise it. Faint attack? Hell yeah. Fuck Roar. I'll steal your fucking Growlithe, old man. Goal, Growlithe from Gambler Rich. Oh, wow, sometimes I really am not ready for that song. It's fine, because we got 007 here, ready for the motherfucking box. Cutie pies. Right in box one, go. Hello? Oh. <sighs> oh, respect the dead, everyone. No riding your bikes in death town. Lavender Volunteer Pokemon House. Very nice. The ghosts that now plague our Pokemon Tower. They're all your fault, aren't they, Rocket? Just wait till Mr. Fuji gets his hands on you. He'll make you pay. Yeah, we'll see. Mr. Fuji sounds like a brittle old man. I'm a fucking gangster. Urgh, no! Have you returned? We were so happy when you thought you rockets had finally left our town for good. Yeah, too fucking bad. We own Kanto, bitch. I'll go wherever I want. Hi, old man. You people will do anything for the sake of money, won't you? There's no job too dirty, no deed too heinous, no crime too wicked. Yeah, probably not. I don't know, man. I'm not the boss. You people killed that poor Cubone's mother. If I had my way, you wouldn't get to heal your Pokemon here. Yeah? Well, thank God for free healthcare and thank God for your communist ass not being president. I mean, communist 
Nazi. It, it's kind of the same thing, like, when you get it down to oppressing the people. Whatever. We don't have to talk about goddamn 1930s politics. Well, this is jovial music. Hi, old man. Hello, hello! I'm the official name rater. Oh no, I don't need you. Fuck you. My names are perfect, bitch. Don't you dare judge my nicknames. They're amazing. Why? What do you want? Leave us alone, Rocket. Haven't you wreaked enough havoc in this town already? I'm gonna fucking kill your cube bone. I need your skull, bitch. Giovanni wants it for his plane. Whatever. You get away this time. Hi. No, please, don't kill any more of our Pokemon. You're the one who used to scare Red. Who's like, oh, there's a hand on your shoulder. Yeah, no fucking games to play with me, huh? That's what I thought. I'm just mourning, no worries, do not worry. You! You're the reason for all the misery in this town! Everything for the sake of profit, isn't it? You should be ashamed. Maybe, but I'm not. Are you happy now, Rocket? Will the money from your Cubone skulls buy you forgiveness from all the Pokemon you murdered? I don't know. I mean, here's the thing about death, honey. I don't gotta think about that shit, because they're dead. My Growlithe, it's dead because of you. Mr. Fuji will have a lot of you thrown in jail, I know it! Yeah, don't you think the champion would have done that if she could? If he could? You fucking idiots, no one's arresting me. Well, well, this is a public monument in memory of departed Pokemon. Our policy is to let anyone who wants to enter pay their respects. But I'll have you know, I don't approve of you one bit. Fine, what, what do we have with the, sh the channelers? I am a channeler. There are spirits up to mischief. I sent them high in the tower. Yeah? That was a really quiet voice. I hope you speak up next time. Hey, Blue, I'm gonna chill for a minute, okay? I'm, I'm just gonna walk over this way for- Okay, there's nothing this way. Right. That's the moral of the story. Avoiding your problems never gets you anywhere. Are my Pokemon okay? Yeah. We should be alright. We should be okay to fight Blue. Hey, you! Yeah? What's up, bitch? Remember when I kicked your ass? What are you looking at? Go mind your own dead Pokemon, I say. Oh, you're the rocket from before, aren't you? What? You want a piece of me, pal? I'll have you know I'm way stronger than I was back on Nugget Bridge. You can bet on it. I'll take you on right here, right now. Bring it. All right, come on, Mr. Man. Oh, no? Oh, he's just sad, huh? Oh, what's the use? God damn. I really don't want to battle you right now, okay? It's a bad time. That's fair. I mean, isn't your Rattata dead or whatever? Do you want to know why I came here, Rocket? Because my Pokemon died. That's why. I understand. I totally understand. My Horenzo died. See, there's this guy I knew from Pallet Town where I grew up. His name's Red. A lot of grown-ups think he's amazing, but he's a bit of a loser, really. Yeah, I can see that. Anyway, we became- uh, I mean, I can see your envy just leaking from your goddamn orifices. Anyway, we became Pokemon trainers at the same time, you see, and we battle each other now and again. <laughs> he kicked the shit out of your Rattata. Just a while ago, I fought him aboard the SSN in Vermilion. He beat me. He always does, to tell you the truth. But see, this time it was different. Red hurt my Raticate really bad in that battle. Really bad. God damn. It was weeping and bleeding all over. I mean, I could barely get it into its Pokeball. So I rushed it out to get it as to the Pokemon Center as soon as I could, but there was all this commotion going on aboard the ship, and I kept losing my way and taking all this time, and... and by the time I got there, the nurse told me it was no use. Raticate was done for, just like that. Fuck Red. Fuck a man named Red. I mean... Fuck not every man named Red, but fuck this Red. He's a murderer, you know. A stinker, a loser, and a murderer. I hate Red. I hate his guts, and I always have. That's fair. You wanna join Team Rocket? Come on, Blue, I know you wanna join Team Rocket. Do you know Professor Oak? Yeah, he's my grandfather, but you sure wouldn't think so. He's the one who licensed me and Red to become Pokemon trainers. And let me tell you, ever since I was little, way before we were even trainers, he always did like Red so much better than he ever did me. Yeah, that's kind of, that's what I always thought. It kind of fucking wears on you after a bit, right? Everything I did, all the things I accomplished, and no matter how strong I got, Grandpa always seemed to think Red somehow did it better. Like Red's some special snowflake prodigy, and I'm just nobody. God. Yeah, even when you won the championship, he was like, I can't believe you lost before I could shake your hand, you fucking loser. I called him, you know, Grandpa, right after it happened. Told him about how I couldn't save Raticate, and how sad I was. And do you know what he told me? Oh, that's too bad, son. How about you catch a new one? A stronger one instead? Wow. Fuck Professor Oak, huh? He doesn't care about me one bit. But do you want to know another thing? I'm over it now. I'm done being Red's runner-up. It's over. I've decided. I'm going to be the Pokemon champion. I don't care what or how long it's going to take, because that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, uh, I... Yeah. God, this really puts a spin on the whole dynamic, huh? 
And when I stand atop the Indigo Plateau with the strongest trainer in all of Kanto, Grandpa will finally see that he was wrong about me this time, and nobody will care about Red and his stupid accomplishments anymore. Yeah. God, the envy is so deep, but it's so deep-seated, like I understand. You know, you're alright, Mr. Rocket Man. Grandpa always told me to be cautious around you people, but I don't think you're all bad. You seem like the good, quiet, listening type, at least. Thanks for hearing me out. Yeah, no worries, brother. You going up top? How about we tag along? I was unsure before if I had the guts to climb all the way, what with the ghosts up there and all, but now? Now there's nothing in the world that can scare me. I'll take anything at all! What? We're going together? Is that a thing? I'll see you around, Mr. Rocket. No, okay. Well, I'll see you around, Blue. You know, you're not such a bad guy either. I... I've misjudged you my whole life. But you know what? It's gotta wear on you, man, that your grandpa just praises your fucking lifelong childhood rival over you in everything ever. Even when he kills your fucking... It's gotta be fucked up. Even we could not identify the wayward ghost. A self-scope might be able to unmask them. Yeah, I got it. No worries. I'm fucking rich. I'm Team Rocket. Look at how many trainers there are. All the time in this fucking game. This is like, this is three just on one floor. The next one probably has three more. And there was like seven trainers just on Route 8. It's astounding. It's astonishing. And that's a fucking old man too. Jesus Christ. Give me your Pokemon, you fucking old shit. Oh no. Did I just blow it? I want to steal Mr. Fuji's Pokemon. Oh, my dear Brill Sprout. He took a gamble at life by going head on against a Charizard. It sounds like you put him head on against a Charizard, you fucking gambling old drunk. Never. <laughs> he was his master's Pokemon to the bitter end. I'm telling you, you totally killed your Pokemon, man. Give me your fuck. Oh, <laughs> I stole the ghost of your dead Pokemon. That's gotta be a fucking. Just a swift kick in the nuts. His name's gonna be Swift, because that's- I just- I remember. I will remember that swift kick I just gave you. You rockets aren't so popular around these parts. Poke side is a crime not easily forgiven. Well. <laughs> well. I don't know what to tell you, bitch. Red did it. How about that? Is he easily forgiven by an 11-year-old? That's just battling with their trainer card. That's the thing. You don't, you don't actually have any fucking, like... Whatever. Whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. It's all fucking bullshit. Sorry, I was possessed. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I could hit them with that excuse. Sorry, I was just a possessed individual. Yeah, you see? You see how there's fog for, like, an effect, but they don't fucking put it in the game to lower everyone's accuracy because that would be retarded? Yeah, Game Freak, see, we already thought about this. What happened? You know, you guys should really install an elevator. Walking down all the goddamn stairs just to heal my Pokemon... That's just both inconvenient and unuser-friendly when you just want to fucking see your Pokemon's grave. Like, do you think I want to climb 14 flights of stairs to see my Pokemon's grave? Or do you think I just want to see my Pokemon's grave and be like, oh, yes, yes, now I can remember. These stupid-ass people, they keep on getting ghastly and then using curse, and then I can just feign attack and one-shot them after they lower their own HP to half. I never understood why Curse was so like, oh my god, it's so great. It's fucking terrible. It literally just deactivates on Switch Out. If it didn't deactivate on Switch Out, that would make it unique and cool. But alas, absolutely fucking alas. I wonder if Gentleman Paul here will give me a perfect example of what I'm saying. Oh, no, Gentleman Paul here understands. Don't fucking curse yourself. Makes no sense. My life is truly futile. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everyone's is. It's nihilism for you. Give me your fucking Mr. Mime, you old shitstorm. Welcome to the party, 008. You know, something else about this, maybe I can turn in these guys to the police so that I can fucking maybe buy a Firestone and then go back to my horrible debauchery ways because I just don't know where I'd find a Firestone otherwise, honestly. Maybe the channeler, yeah, here we go. The channeler's gonna give me a perfect opportunity. She's gonna use curse. It's gonna be like, oh, there goes half my health. Cerbatale's cursed, oh boy. What am I gonna do? Probably just use feign attack and fucking one shot you, right? Come on. Exactly. It's the worst move in the fucking world. Flame burst. What is flame burst? I actually totally forget. It's, oh damn, that's a good one. User attacks the foe with a bursting flame. Well, that's better than fire spin, that's for goddamn sure. All right, Blue, I'll be right back with you. I gotta go heal so that, you know, my Raticate doesn't get horribly, horribly murdered. Weeping and bleeding on the floor. That's what fucking gets me. Like, can you imagine you just have a Pokemon battle and your fucking Raticate gets so fucked up? It's just bleeding and crying. Like, not even saying its name. It's just like, uh, uh. 
That's horrible. That's fucking horrifying. And I hate thinking about it. Don't worry, Timon. Never again. Never again. If That would be a crazy mechanic if Red could just randomly actually murder one of your Pokemon. That would be no good. And at this point, I'm really expecting him to have like a Charizard or something. Like already at this point in the game, which makes no fucking... The first wild Pokemon I've ever seen in here, by the way. The, the encounter rate is like nothing. That would suck. Like, if, if he already has a Charizard, like, what the hell am I gonna do? What the hell am I gonna do? I'm gonna have to grind for hours. You wanna know how much time is on this thing just from how I grind it? Because, I mean, when I put the speed up, right, it definitely speeds up the internal clock. But even so, 20 hours is what this game thinks I've put into it. That's not how long I put into it, but it's how long I fucking grinded to this point. It's ridiculous. Are you superstitious at all, Mr. Rocket? See, Grandpa always told me everything in the world has a rational explanation. But this place? I really don't know what to make of it. All these channelers are acting so weird and... Well, they've got this purified, protected zone upstairs. They tell me it's sealed by a white magic and, and when I stepped on it, I could feel my body just relaxing. Letting go. I don't know what to believe anymore. Maybe the world isn't as clear-cut as my Grandpa always said. Yeah, probably not. I mean, goddamn, Oak sounds like a real fucking tool. Like, what a dickhead. My Pokemon died, Dad, or Grandpa. What do I do from, like, the ex-champion? I need some advice. Well, just get a new one, son, you fucking poser. Ridiculous. Oh, nice. Now I don't have to run down to that goddamn Pokemon Center anymore. Hey, little child. I bet I can steal your shit. These channelers are so weird. They're way creepier than any of the ghosts. I even caught a few. Well, aren't you just a big old sack of fucking dangling dick, little boy Fabian? You're such a cool guy. I don't... I don't want another Ghastly, though. So if all you have is Ghastly, fuck you. He has a charm! Dude, amazing. Fantastic. I'm so glad to see you have that. Because now I have something new for my box. You stupid fucking hissant child. Return is one of the strongest moves I fucking have right now. It one-shots everything I come across. Which, I mean... Maybe you can attribute to Timon being level 31, but I like to attribute as Timon just loving me that much. At least my Pokemon didn't die! Gee, wow, looking on the bright side, right? Well, I'm gonna steal your one live one. Sorry, dumbass. Is this 9? I, I fucking, I'm losing count. It's 009, that's just your name. They're all like my 00 agents. They're like my Charlie's Angels. I don't care about them. They just have numbers. <laughs> All right, Serpertail, you, you've had your goddamn chance. Let's get Mario out here. I actually can't believe I let that happen. Usually I just, I, I grind people with the order I get them. Mario, Mario was a neglected child. What can I say? 1x accuracy. I'm never gonna use it. What is Feather Dance again? Foes covered with a massive down that sharply cuts the attack set. And I mean, I guess it's better than Sand Attack, right? Sorry, I'm really committing to the whole like not showing the battles thing. Like there's just so fucking many. There's like so many. There's five. There's five on this floor. There's fucking four on the next one. There's three on the first one. I just don't have time to show them all. I could show some of them, but really, it's it's just it's not worth it. Rare candy, real rare. Just sitting next to a fucking pile of gravestones. Great. Well, you ready? We're almost there. Yeah. Fucking finally. It only took ten thousand years. I can sense something ominous by that staircase over there. I don't know what it is, but I'm not scared. I'll face it if you will, Mr. Rocket. Oh, it's the Marowak. I, I can do it. No worries. I got a silk scope. I got you, brother. Be gone, intruders. It's the only time I've ever seen a Pokemon speak English, by the way. I mean, I'm sure it happened to someone else, but come on. Come on. It's the only time I know of. Mario, if only you fucking knew a grass move, right? If only you knew the one thing that I would, like, keep you for, right? Too bad. Wingnut. Just take care of this. Ground types are bullshit for you. Oh, focusing. I'm getting pumped. Get fucking pumped all day. One shot. Why did I think it would one shot? He's three levels lower. Holy God. I'll tell you, this is pretty great. You just, you just can't hit me. I'm just going up and down and up and down. It's fucking beautiful. Bye bye, Marowak. Yeah, use your false swipe. It's cool. What? No, 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 no. It's not cool. Actually, it is. You'll never fucking kill me with it. The ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother's spirit appeared for a moment to have been calmed. But then it changed its mind! Thou canst not call me, for thine intentions are not pure. Thou hast come only to bring more harm upon my kind. To profit from agony and death is the most despicable greed. Thou art evil, 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 evil! Okay. Well, I don't care. Me. What was that about? <laughs> I just turned into Sonic. <laughs> Way past cool. What was that about? Talk about weird. 
Did you have any idea what it was talking about? Mm, yeah, me neither. Well, I mean, I know that I'm horrible, but really? Him? Like, what, what, what are Blue's ill intentions, really? Red seems like to have, to have, like, no intentions, so why the fuck can he do it? Bullshit. Well, up we go, I guess. Yeah, after I fucking heal Blue, see, some of us have to battle. Up this day as we go. Okay, are we ready for fucking Fuji? I don't know. Well, this wasn't very exciting. It's just some old guy up here. No rare Pokemon or items. What? Oh, you're here to see the old man, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I don't know if I'm ready for this, though. Like, that Marowak was all the- I, I could take him, though. I could take him. I can take him. Eh? Who are you? Why have you come? No! That uniform! Gah, you filthy rockets! Why can't you leave me in my poor little town alone? I refuse to leave this tower, and you can't make me, scoundrel! We'll fucking see who can't make who, you little old bitch. Oh, that's such a cute, like, sprite, though. God damn you, Mr. Fuji! Level 20. Mm, yeah, this is gonna be serious. This is not a bullshit fight. This is not a lead with Mario fight, is kind of what I should be saying. Come on, let's go, Timon. Show him the power of true friendship! Friendship brewed in the vats of villainy! He doesn't know shit. He doesn't know shit. Look at that. Look at that garbage. It's beautiful. Kill him, Timon! Murder him dead! You are my favorite Raticate to have ever existed. Timon, you did great, but I, I love myself Kick-Ass. God, I love Kick-Ass. I bet anybody watching this is like, how dare you not pick Hitmonchan? And you want to know why? Because fuck you, Hitmonlee is cooler. Big brick break, not big back. Oh no, he disabled one of my fighting moves. Now I'll only have to use one of my other two fighting moves. There it is. That's the kill shot. Fucking bye-bye. Go, Pikachu. Yeah, your Pikachus look so great with a stupid Pika Pika P. Well, guess what? Poison Tail. Dead man. I got a fucking Needle King. Also, this music is kind of growing on me. It's not great, but it, it's unique. And that's good, at least. I'm playing... Oh my god, so many fucking series I want to make after this, too. Like, I want to play Pokemon Vega and maybe Pokemon Gaia, but Pokemon Vega is fucking amazing. The custom music, the custom sprites, all of it, it's fucking... Ju it's just so cool. I love it. Yeah, ditto, ditto, ditto. Whatever, bitch. Your ditto ain't gonna be shit, because I got the power of friendship. I got the power of friendship. And that is why you need the speed dust, huh? Urgh, I will not stand for this! Well, what else are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, old man? Steal a Pokemon? Fuck yeah, I'll steal a Pokemon. I stole ditto from Mr. Fuji! God, I'm a real asshole, huh? Would you like to give a nickname? Yeah. Okay, listen, I know I can't use him, but I want to, I want to give him a different different nickname than 00, zero or 010. <laughs> nah, but them's the rules, man. Them's the rules. He doesn't get to feel human just because I personally like him. Nah. No, 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 no. 010. There you go. You disgusting hooligan. Have you no shame? Not only do you have the nerve, the audacity to come in here and stop me on my noble mission to calm the spirit of a murdered Pokemon, but your incessant greed even prompts you to snatch my innocent Pokemon from right under my nose. Yeah, I bet Blue is not gonna like me anymore, actually. Why are you here? To detain me? To kick me out? Maybe to have me suffer the same fate as these Cubone, is that it? My own skull hanging in Giovanni's office as some trophy? Would it surprise me that greedy or moral crook- I thought it said cock. <laughs> that greedy cock? He's living in the past, you know. Your boss. He's bound to fail. He couldn't bring down Lance back when he had the entire Kanto army on his side, and now he thinks he's gonna do it through some underground pseudo-mafia? He's mad! Looney! Yeah, I kind of agree with you there. I didn't know he had the Kanto army with him. But you know, I'd let Giovanni run his delusional crime ring in circles ten times over if he'd just stop meddling with me and the innocent affairs of this town! Keep me out! I want nothing to do with you! Well, what are you- fuck you- I left my work on the Mewtwo project behind me 11 years ago, do you hear me? Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot about that. On Faraway Island or whatever, his name is there with Mew. I'm a different man now, and those were different times. Yeah, I, I I get it, but shit, man. What what are you gonna do? You can't just change the past. Oh, if you'd only seen the things I've seen, young man, you'd turn and leave your boss's service without a second thought. I don't think I would. I think I'd be like, can you make me and you two? <laughs> I swear, when I stood before it that evening in the lab, that thing, the catastrophe, when I saw the abomination that we had created with our own bare hands, I thought I'd seen the root of all evil itself. I'm telling you, it looked like, like... Red, no. No, no. Okay, thank God. Like something not very nice? Yeah, we get the picture, old man. I don't know who this is. Archer? 
Is that Archer? I can't fucking tell. You! Nice to finally meet, see you again, Fuji. How have you been? Good job incapacitating the guy, Roberta. I was afraid I'd have to do it myself. I'll take it from here if you don't mind. Okay, whatever you say. That's a nice little rant you made up there, Fuji, but we've heard it before, haven't we? <laughs> I suppose you've also told Roberta here of how you rushed to pledge your allegiance to Lance to save your own skin the moment Oak called for surrender. How will you willingly give away confidential scientific information in return for a state-sponsored retirement fund in a safe little small town home for yourself? Wow, okay, yeah. See, that's the thing. That's the thing, nobody is fucking innocent. Your little do-good innocent old man act that you've put on in this town is fooling no one, Fuji. Besides Oak, you're the biggest coward traitor this region has ever seen. Really, is, is Oak a coward traitor? Like, wouldn't you love Oak because he was gonna secede and surrender to Giovanni? Whatever. But what? You're insane, Rocket! Should I have kept fighting? What for? Lance! Kanto Johto! I saw that it was inevitable! I was merely being realistic! And look at you rockets! Stealing innocent traitors Pokemon! Slaughtering Cubone and flipping their skulls for profit! How in the world can you pretend to be morally superior? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Cause we're free. We're fucking... Yeah. Yeah, Team Rocket pretends to be nothing and it's not Fuji. I mean, I don't know about that. But consider this. Heard of Lance's grand new anti-crime program? His promises to bring us to justice? Yeah, he's actually giving us TMs and shit. Well, how many resources has he dedicated to stop us killing Cubone here, huh? Where is he now to save your ass from us evil bandits? And do you know that he intends to wreck this precious, t precious tower of your- Wow! He intends to wreck this precious tower of yours apart and let a private entertainment enterprise set up shop here in its place? It's true. It's absolutely true. He does it. Defending old Kanto's honor may be no walk in the park, but you're sure as hell not getting any more security by sucking up to Lance if that's what you think. Those that would take security over freedom, all that shit. LIES! ALL LIES! It's not. It's not at all though, that's the problem. I've had enough of this. Special orders from boss, Roberta. I'm to take over detaining Fuji here for the time being. I've got plenty of reinforcement grunts heading in, in just a moment, so I'll be A-OK -okay for now. Yeah, but then Red fucks you up. You're free to head back to HQ, in other words. Nice work here, kid. I'm about to be promoted someday here. Come on. I did great. Oh, dude, is Blue my new best friend? Because I love that. Wow, Mr. Rocket. I have never knew I'd, I never knew I'd get to see something like that. You want to be a rocket? Huh? You rockets. You're bad, but you're fighting for something too, aren't you? You're not just all evil. No, not really. I mean, we're just different ideologically. I know why you, the other guy called Grandpa Traitor, you know. I don't know what I should think about anything anymore. My voice is getting strained, hang on. But, when I become champion, I'll be a fair and honorable one. You can count on it. Sounds good to me, man. Whatever. You know, do what you do. I'm gonna stay behind here with Raticate for a little while longer. Thanks for tagging along with me, Mr. Rocket. I hope I'll see you again sometime. Yeah, me too. Oh god, and now Red's just gonna come and rub it in your face. What a shithead. What a shithead Red is, dude. This just makes me hate. The, per the protagonist of Fire Red. No. Don't you fucking dare. Okay, it's Oak. I was like, no! How can you make me battle him right now? Excuse me, young man, but were you just leaving the Pokemon Tower? If you don't mind my asking, did you happen to come across one Mr. Fuji in there? An elderly gentleman, short, qu quiet, kind-looking? Well, I don't... Uh, clearly I can't do a Professor Oak voice, but I'm trying. He's an old friend of mine, you see, and I should really like to... <laughs> yeah, how do people not- how is the first thing that you not notice the uniform? Oh, that uniform of yours. Mm-hmm. I see how it is. Well, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Never mind my inquiry. Good day. <laughs> Jesus, Oak. Okay, yeah, maybe you are a fucking shying away coward. Like, you literally will not even fucking protect Mr. Fuji. Incredible. Alright guys, well I think I'm gonna end that episode here. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want in this world, and have an amazing day. I'm me, you're you, but I've gotta go, so, peace out.